This film is about the to determine line spread function of a digital camera that you have. Right now, this film is produced by using a standard low-cost VGA camera. The resolution is 640 by 480. Um, we, I'll try to perform the experiments with this camera, but you may use your smartphone camera or any other possible digital camera both in the market. First you need objects. Objects, I mean um, standard thin white stripes uh, on a black background and printed on paper. Actually there are eight objects, sorry, nine objects here. Uh, object one, two, three, etc. And white line pairs, the distance is gradually decreasing. Here is one pixel black or this uh, separation is present two pixels three pixel four five six seven eight nine so uh, the white stripes are approaching gradually and for this camera low-cost camera this can be hardly resolved uh, but for a smartphone of course all objects are well distinguished, well represented by image. So we may use another object, the same uh, nine objects, actually yeah, starting from the largest separation towards the smallest one. Here we have nine objects and for a uh, high resolution camera maybe uh, these are, these represent uh, one of the limits of the resolution of that camera, so you may use both objects. For this low-cost camera, I'm using this very coarse object, nine objects ac actually, so try to see the resolution uh, or distinguishability between the lines. My aim is, I'm not presenting the whole steps, but basically it's necessary to take picture uh, and then analyze the picture in terms of pixel intensities in the picture about these white stripes, whether they are represented correctly or not. So the method is as follows. You take the, you prepare the object, print out from the link that I, that's given in the lecture, either this object or that object or in between any suitable object. Uh, you take a picture of this object, actually there are nine objects, so in order to take nine different images, this is a concentrated one-shot image uh, to save time, and analyze this portion of the picture in terms of pixel intensities. Okay, intensity is expected to be around very low values, like zero for black regions, actually in your experiment, uh, not perfect black can be obtained and during light effects etc uh, you'll have probably dark gray appears and not n or non-zero pixel intensities and for white stripes we expect to see ideally uh, for 8-bit system 255 uh, pixel value for this region and again this is not pure white so we may not see full white. So the aim is to get pixel values of this picture either by placing some cursors around here or, uh, and there etc. You plot or tabulate those values or you import this image to a standard mathematical software and resolve the matrix into matrix form resolve the image in matrix form and assign or plot the pixel intensity of the central row and we expect to see pixel intensities if, if you assume this is the function baseline for the horizontal axis these are noise in black region and some value for white, high value, and like this. 
okay so you ter determine the peaks and you may determine full wilt half maximum value and obtain an idea about the resolution or spatial resolution of this camera and line you obtain the line spread function line spread function as you know is the function for very thin objects like line okay if your camera is uh, like mine a low cost camera the line spread functions of the two lines will probably merge in each, each other so you may obtain something like this so these two lines cannot be resolved and seen like one line it depends on the camera for of course today's high resolution cameras all the objects the line spread functions of these quality cameras are very thin lines so they represent the white and black regions more accurately than this one so if I summarized you have uh, first duty is prepare the object then analyze the object in terms of pixel intensities you can use mathematical programs or office programs uh, any program software that can handle arrays uh, like matrices one-dimensional matrices okay and plotting these values will bring you line spread functions and you can determine full width half maximum from that value and assuming this is a Gaussian function the line spread function let me use another sheet so there will be a function let's say okay so from uh, the peak amplitude you can determine the variance and from this you can determine the full width half maximum value accordingly this is your first duty in the experiment